Hello and welcome to the Active Force 2 walkthrough. I want to take a moment to show you around your new Active Force 2 kit. When you first open your kit, you'll see that it comes with your device, your hand strap, round pad, soft pad, leg strap, and a belt loop plate. You'll also need to download the Active Force 2 app on your mobile device. To perform a strength test, we'll go ahead and tap that strength button. Select the side we wish to test. And in my case, I'm going to do a hand and grip strength. Once your test is named, you'll be brought to the calibration screen where you can get in starting position. And make sure you don't apply any additional force during the calibration sequence. Once it's done calibrating, you'll see go. You can apply force for the duration that you preset in your settings. Also, you can just the number of tests you wish as well. From here, I can redo the test or view summary. On the view summary screen, I can view all my data, rename my test, enter a force to weight ratio, as well as email the information to myself. And in order to perform a range of motion measurement, you want to tap that range of motion button and select the range of motion test you wish to perform. For the sake of this example, I'm going to tap active range of motion and perform a left elbow flexion standing. After you finish naming your test, you'll see a calibration screen where you want to get into your starting position. Once you're ready to perform the test, go ahead and press start, wait for calibration to finish, and move the joint you wish to test in one plane of motion until it reaches its max range. End test, and you can view summary, email the data to yourself, or perform another test. Some important things to remember with using Active Force 2 is that when you perform multiple tests, make sure you take note of the starting position and the placement of your Active Force 2 device. Then, as you perform the same test over time, you can have a more consistent way to test the data. 